All right, Officer McCloskey. Oh. Hot on the trail. Yeah. Well, I on guess the he, case. I guess he has to go through training before he can get the officer title, but yeah, you're working on it. No, uh, no training at all. I had four <laughs> seconds of training. It goes like this Class 511, <laughs> fall in! This is how it works. I could watch this all day. You are looking at the recruits of Class 511 here at the Phoenix Police Academy. Just listen to this action. There we are. Well, now that's impressive to say the least, just to see it happening. And uh, S uh, Sergeant Troy Holland is with us, and you're a recruiting sergeant. These folks, they all look sharp. Uh, they all have a, a sworn mission that they'll be embarking upon pretty soon. And who, who is your typical, typical recruit, first of all? Our typical recruit could be just you, could be mm -hmm. anyone. I think when you find the blue in you, it could be anybody. I love that expression, find the blue in you. Yes. That's great. And uh, how many new officers and staff of all kinds are you looking for? Well, typically, we're looking to put approximately 25 to 30 officers a month through the academy, mm -hmm. okay? So we go out proactively and uh, look for these people. Mm -hmm. Now, as you look over this class, who's the real troublemaker here? I mean, you know who are you They're worried all about? Outstanding. I don't uh -huh. worry about any of them. Yeah, There's yeah. about 36 of them, and they look outstanding. Yeah, they do. Uh, we're going to get to the bottom of that, I'm sure. I, I might ask them to point to the troublemaker. Sometimes that happens. Uh, sometimes that works well. And usually they smile. You can see they've got the serious look. <laughs> it is a good look. And uh, you have about 28 years on the force, I do. Uh, you said. And uh, what was your inspiration to join up? Uh, did you have family who was already uh, serving, or what was it like for you? You know, it was basically, you know, you call the job, the job calls you, the job called me, and uh, I came here. Came here from Illinois, and 28 years later, I'm here. My twin brother went to ASU, and we found Arizona. So uh, you just wrote back, ship my stuff. I'm not returning to that godforsaken state. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. It was pretty cold out. <laughs> yeah, it was. But, uh, yeah, it's beautiful Arizona here. Well, so. as, as we wrap up this segment, how, how can people who would like to join up, how do they get in touch with the force? How does well, it happen? The best thing to do is go to phoenix.gov slash police, and there, uh, sign up. Um, we have the website there. And um, from there, just uh, it's an A-step process. And from there, we'll be happy to have you. Very good. Uh, Sergeant, thank you very much. And. I'm telling you, Troy, Andrea, it's very moving. Uh, we saw the posting of the colors earlier this morning, and all the recruit classes were out here, and uh, everybody looks so sharp. It's, uh, it's really something to see. And you can be a part of it if you're watching at home, uh, phoenix.gov. Uh, uh, that's the place to go, and you can make it happen. We're going to uh, throw some people over a six-foot wall here coming up next oh. time we get together. I'm looking I'll probably be one of forward them. to seeing that. I may need to be thrown over. I was going to say, are they willing participants in this, or are we just, just tossing people? <laughs> well, it's all part of the sweat therapy that uh, oh, good. the force sweat engages in. Okay, I'll use a little therapy. The Phoenix police are planning to hire 300 new officers this year and next. So we sent Corey to the police academy to train with the recruits. Hey, Corey. Yeah. Well, good morning, you guys. And what we what we see behind me is. This is the six-foot wall. I don't know why it uh, it looms so largely in the minds of recruits, but. Uh, this crowd over here, our instructors, they couldn't wait to get me over here, and I'm not, I'm not sure what their game is. This is Chris McLeod, though, soon to be Sergeant McLeod. He's in charge of physical fitness here. Why should I worry about this? It's only about as tall as my head. What's the big deal? Well, it's a should I be overconfident? <laughs> it's a strength endurance test, so mm -hmm. you're going to run around this track six times. You're going to hop a wall. You're going to do sit-ups and push-ups, and this is the wall. Oh, okay. Oh, we don't just walk out of breakfast, hop over, and call it a day. Correct. Oh, Correct. okay. Maybe that was my problem. All right. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm condensing my training into about four minutes. Yes. Uh, and how, what is the typical physical regimen for one of your recruits on, on any given busy day? They do all types of uh, different exercises to maintain their fitness, sit-ups, push-ups. Uh, hop in the wall, run in the track, run in the mountain preserves that we have directly behind oh, us. Yeah. 
Well, that's nice to give them this barren, deadly desert out there to uh, really separate the uh, the weak from the strong. Yes, it's you have to on a recovery mission out there. You ever lost anybody up on South Mountain? No, sir, we haven't. <laughs> gotcha. Well, I'd like my crowd of encouragers to come over here, if you don't mind, get next to the edge of the wall there. So, uh, so I've got some, you know, sort of a cheering session. Come right up here close, if you don't mind, uh, uh, Officer Holland, uh, or Sergeant Holland. Um, all right. So, you take the microphone there and. Uh, Tell me what I should do. What's, my, okay. what's the technique? The first thing you're going to do is start behind the yellow line. Everyone starts behind the yellow line. Uh, you cannot go on the outsides of the wall. You have to hit the wall directly and just go straight over. Okay. Any means necessary. Is, is there, should there be a, is there betting? There's no betting. No betting allowed. But I believe you're going to do it. Oh, you, you can wager. <laughs> I don't mind. Uh, Troy and Andrea, I don't, what do you think? Is this a yay or a nay? I, I'm inclined to six foot wall. Absolutely. Since right I was over. in high school. Yeah, right over. You can do it. Really? Yeah. So uh, just, you know, get your momentum going and you, you use your upper wait, body and does get he have that his, leg over. You have your go. new kicks on. So, yeah, it's going to happen. Are those oh, Pumas? No, no they're Asics. Oh, Asics? No. Oh. Yeah, he's working an Asic oh, now. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. They're very okay. colorful. You ready? I'm ready. Remember, get that good hop. <laughs> Are you ready? He's <laughs> nervous. Get, get, ready. get over the fear. Get just run. Get over that wall. Get over that Come wall. Come on, you got it. Let's yeah. go. Right, here we go. Yeah, oh, buddy. There, he goes. there you go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like a boss. Uh, and he gives us the look. Good job. <laughs> What's oh, that look? Standing at attention, oh, I, I guess. I don't... <laughs> oh, that, that felt pretty good. Well, l let's take a little <laughs> stroll here as we walk through the graveyard of, of huge tractor tires. And uh, this is also part of the physical fitness regimen here. But Janice Lair is with us. And uh, you are in the communications department, right? Yes, I'm the training supervisor for Phoenix Police Communications. Very good. And well, let's take a stroll. We've we got some other recruits over here. But w what jobs are involved in your department? And, uh, and what are you looking for right now? We are hiring the behind-the-scenes heroes, those operators, those call takers, and those dispatchers. Gotcha. And uh, how long have you been with the force? Uh, 18 years. Wow, you know what's what. <laughs> and uh, who, who's, who is best at the jobs that you supervise? Well, what kind of person are you looking for? Those go-getters, those attention to detail, multitaskers, the people that want to help people. We need those people that, that are dedicated to what they do because it's such an important job. I've always wanted to w go under one of those yellow tapes. <laughs> Feels pretty good. It does, huh? <laughs> it does. Well, uh, Sergeant Holland, as we wrap up, uh, once again, for whether it's the communications department or to become a, a street officer, as we're seeing over here, how do we get in touch with the force? And how do we find the blue in you? Well, basically, again, phoenix.gov slash police and go online, look at the links, and link on career opportunities with the Phoenix Police Department. Very good. Well, we're looking for officers and uh, employees in all departments, uh, Troy and Andrea, and uh, where they all look sharp. And That's we really group, love what they do, and we're so thankful for uh, their courage and their willingness to uh, protect us every day. So Absolutely. thanks, you guys, and uh, we'll see you soon.